you're back. You've come to read another book with me. I'm so excited. I love reading with you. Today's book is by the author Janet Morgan Stoic, and it's called Minerva Louise at the Fair. Do you like going to fairs or theme parks? Me too. I like going to places like Disney World or Busch Gardens. I wonder if Minerva Louise will like to go to the fair. Let's find out. Minerva Louise loved how peaceful the farm was at night. Hmm. They're all asleep. She stared up at the stars and listened to the crickets long after everyone else was asleep. Do you know what a cricket sounds like? It sounds like this. Boom! That's not a cricket. Boom! Hmm. What do you think made the boom sound? What is it? Boom! I better go see what's happening. She's curious. She wants to know what made that boom sound. Look at that! The stars are coming down from the sky. Wow. Do you see that star in the sky? But it's not a star. They don't boom like that. And they're landing everywhere on top of the mountains and all over the houses. Hmm, if it's not stars, what do you think is making that boom sound and lighting up the sky? Do you think it's fireworks? I do too. Even this bulldozer has stars on it. Hmm, Minerva Louise, that's not a bulldozer. Ooh, it goes way up high. Hey, I think I see some hens down there. Look. Oh, no. Those are just some stuffy old roosters. They're no fun to play with. Here are lots of nice hens, but I can't get inside to play with them. Hmm. Do you know why she can't get inside? Do you know why that girl is there and she sees the back of herself? <laughs> it's a mirror. Hmm. And these hens are all sleeping. Maybe I should rest too. I'm getting pretty tired. Minerva, those aren't hens. Hmm. They're gourds and fruits. I just need to find the hen house. Hmm. Minerva, that's not the hen house. Keep looking. I do hope it's as pretty as the horse barn. <laughs> that's, that's not a horse barn, Minerva Louise. It's a merry-go-round. When she finally found the hen house, Minerva Louise could hardly keep her eyes open. She thinks that's the hen house. Do you think it's a hen house or something else? She found one empty nest, so she climbed in and went to sleep. Um, looks like her neighbors woke up. In the morning, she woke up to a whole flock of farmers. Look at all those farmers. One of them is holding red ribbons with more ribbons in his pocket 
and there's a blue ribbon. She woke to see all the farmers, a flock of farmers. One of them was her farmer. He got all excited when he saw her. He even gave her a ride home in the truck. Wow, that's special. She looks so happy. And when they got back to the barn, he made Minerva Louise a wonderful new nesting box. with some stars of her very own. Oh, that's how the story started. She saw the stars in the sky that were the fireworks. And then the story ends with her getting stars of her very own. Did you like the book? Me too. I enjoyed reading about Minerva Louise at the fair so much I want to read another book about her. Let's do it. A Hat for Minerva Louise by Janet Morgan Stoic. There's Minerva. And it looks like it's winter there because of all the snow. Minerva Louise loved snowy mornings. Her friends didn't like them one bit. They stayed inside all day with their heads tucked under their wings. Not Minerva Louise. She couldn't wait to go out exploring. Everything was so beautiful. She wanted to stay out all day, but it was too cold. If I had some warm things like you, she said, I could stay out and play. Minerva, she's being smart to think that clothes would help keep her warm. Hmm. A scarf might help. But not this one. It's way too big. Oh, Minerva, that's not a scarf. That's a garden hose. And these shoes are too big, too. <laughs> They're not shoes. <laughs> A hat. That's just what I need. Hmm. Do you see a hat? Huh. But not this one. <laughs> Minerva, that's not a hat. And not this one either. It's too heavy. <laughs> Minerva, that's a shoe, not a hat. There must be a hat around here somewhere. Psst, Minerva, look up, look up. <laughs> she doesn't see them. Minerva Louise looked outside. Everyone had on a fluffy white hat. What? I don't see any hats. I see fluffy white snow. But I don't see a hat. Oh, your hat is wonderful. Where did you get it? 
Oh, look! What's over here? Hmm. Hmm. What do you think Minerva found? Hmm. A hat. It's perfect. But what's this? Oh, it's two hats. Minerva thinks those mittens are two hats. Which was just fine with Minerva Louise. Oh, she is so smart. She is using those mittens to keep herself warm so she can go outside and go exploring and enjoy the snowy morning. I like Minerva Louise. Thank you for reading these two books with me. I so enjoy reading with you. You're great listeners. And you look at all the pictures. I like you so much. Until we read again, you guys take care and stay warm during the winter.